It's a new genre, I think, the Westlike. The Westlike. The Westlike. Sounds like a, yeah. sounds like a boy band. Oh, it's the Westlike. <laughs> All of us are named something West. All right, we should be going now. Oh, we're going out on both YouTube channels again. Uh, seems so. Seems so, yeah. There they are. Uh, yes, yeah, so. looks, looks like we're live. Hello, everyone. We're all live and we're watching. Uh, well, we're not watching, we're playing Blood yeah. West on Yahtzee Tries. I'm Yahtzee Crozier. I'm joined by Frost. It's a me. Ready? I was, I was told there'd be Disney. This is not Disney. There'll be Disney, don't you worry. I thought okay. we could use Disney to sort of calm down from all the bloody West. Ah, I see it. You, did uh, that. you want right. Crazy for Life straight in there with $5 to say, is there a particular pattern in the backdrop color arrangements in Fully Ramblematic, or do they just change it random throughout the video? Yeah, I tend to switch backgrounds when I'm, like, shifting gears topic-wise. There's no real rhyme and reason behind what color is at attached to what topic. Ah, see, some people were saying, like, green meant, uh, you were talking about the setting, and, and blue was mechanics, you know? So now Well, it's just nice to know I'm with... fucking with people's heads without much effort on my part. No, I, I just basically uh, pick whatever one I haven't used uh, most recently. Well, I've asked what I did with the music, yeah. And start and end on red. Anyway, yes, Blood West. Not to be confused with Weird West, or Evil West, or... An American Tale Five goes west. Or Adam West. Yeah, Adam West, west. yes. There seems to be a recurring pattern these days that uh, if you're making one of these like Lovecrafty horror westerns, you just take the word West and then stick yep. an ominous word in front of it. Yep, yep. Um, you know, like Dark West. There's still room. Right, we've still got things to cover. Is there a Dark West? There's got to be a Dark no. West on stage. It'll be right? mine. It'll be mine. Yeah. Okay, that's yours. What's, uh, funny enough, they don't always hit on the same genre, so what's this one? This is an Great. FPS with uh, retro graphics reminiscent of the uh, late 90s, as is Ignorance. not uncommon in indie games these days. Uh, that's sort of an immersive sim RPG with multiple gameplay tracks, but leaning on stealth. Okay, so it's a thief, but it's Garrett as a cowboy. Yeah, yeah. leaning a little more towards uh, stealth, I'd say, because I, I, spoiler warning, this isn't like a perfect uh, first glimpse, because I've actually already tried this game, uh, but I didn't try it for very long, and my conclusion from my brief uh, attempt was that going in guns blazing is the worst idea in the world, playing this game. Yeah, I mean, that, that qualifies for an immersive sim. Yeah, combat sucks. It's good. But, uh, yeah, the influence uh, by, like, end of the 90s, early 2000s PC first-person games is very worn on the sleeve. Are you nostalgic for it? Well, I do have a lot of nostalgia for that era, that, you know, because I love Thief 2 as a game, yeah. and uh, that was when Deus Ex and System Shock 2 and all of those came out, and Half-Life. Right, so you, you could tell us if this is vintage or, or just a bad rip. Oh, it worked. It worked. And he is even in one piece. Uh, there's oh, definitely he, influence he from he blood has. here as well. Nothing but an amalgamation uh -huh. of souls. Is there no, like, what background the music? Is. Not that I can hear at the moment. Oh, Snake of the Garden with the two euro, the return of Adventurers Nigh. Yeah, you did yes, announce. That's the other thing to celebrate. We've just announced that Adventurers Nigh is returning to Second Wind. We're going to be putting out all of Season 3 starting from the beginning every like Saturday until the end of. Uh, until we run out of episodes, really. That'll give and us time to get the last few episodes finished. I say we. We'll give, <laughs> give Jack and Omar time to get the last few episodes done. Yeah, you finish your bit. And stuff like Adventurous Night is made possible by you all at the lovely Patreon. I don't think if you can see that dollar. Every last bit helps. Appreciate you guys. All right. Sneaking. You said immersive sim. Are there any events? Uh, well, there's lots of walking around on your hands and knees. Mm. Through, through tight passages. Yeah. And, oh, uh, immersive, indeed. It's a sort of open world. You can... Uh, you've got like a fairly expansive map once we get out of the tutorial. 
and Love go it. wherever you want. I'm not a huge fan of this detection meter, I must say. Oh, I just realized that's what yeah, that is. That's, yeah. what that, that's what that weird abstract thing that looks like a uh, something that's some kind of automated uh, car rear view mirror cleaning device. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, what what the, do you prefer for like uh, knowing that you're in stealth or not? Well, I don't think you can beat the uh, the original thief method. You just have a gem that shows how well lit you are and how likely oh. the enemy is to see you if they look at you at this moment. I love it. What about like uh, a runner-up, the Skyrim eyeball, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Just like a st straightforward, you can be seen or you cannot be seen sort of thing. Yeah. I guess I prefer the slight oh. ambiguity because it added a, a, a note of uh, tension to things. Sure, yeah. Suspense, like just, perhaps. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I always end up crouch walking because it, it just says you're seen. You're just not known from where. Ooh. Oh, okay. Right, so you got an axe. Nice. Yeah. So there's, there's not really like a, a a stealth attack per se. It's just that if you hit someone who can't, who hasn't noticed you yet, you do a critical hit. Okay. It's not, so it's not like a takedown attack like what most stealth games have these days. Sure, sure. So you you're bludgeoning them. You got your blackjack. It just looks like yeah. an axe. I think the detection meter just sort of relates to the nearest enemy. I think, mm -hmm. just if it's if it all fills up, then the dude notices right. you, you silly Billy. Oh, okay. So it works oh, on vision and sound. Oh shit! <laughs> no pause apparently when you're in the inventory. All right. Well, that's how you know it's immersive. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Keeps going the whole way. Nice grid-based inventory. Cute. Yes, classic RPG style. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you find notes on uh, the monsters. Love it. And finally, you can Did sell the, the notes for $10. Oh. Knowledge is That's power. Right. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's level-based like the old thief. Uh, not... I don't think so... Hmm. Ah, what's this? We found a gun. Oh, look at that! Well, we can be snipers now. Is the voice is the voice actor the protagonist literally Stephen Russell, who played Garrett in Thief? That'd be funny. Because I I'm pretty sure he is. I haven't looked it up. If it's not, it's a damn good impression. I got the wrong Stephen Russell. <laughs> Con artist to it. That's just, that's not him. Aha, a shotgun, a knife. All the things we like. Mm. It is him, says chat. Okay. Cool. That seems to be fairly common with these nostalgic properties. They, like, get a, a classic voice actor from back in the day. Like when yeah, Dusk yeah. brought out uh, the bloke who voiced Caleb from Blood to voice the final boss. Love it. Yeah, and they're more than happy to do it, too. So. Oh, what else have they got to do these days? I do. So, hey, that one thing you're good at, you want to do it again? Sure. <laughs> I guess the oh, one kind of people remember you for. Yeah, yeah. You won't find any answers lingering mm. here. Better move towards hmm. the dark place. Search for the evil lurking in no this No choices world. matter in this one. The voice actor voicing this totem sounds familiar as well. I think that might be Stephen Russell as well, thinking about it. It's all one guy. Maybe he made it too. He was a versatile actor. He also voiced the really drunk guard in Thief. Yeah, one, the one screaming they, tap all the time. And they sound very, very different. Oh, <laughs> Eric in the chat is about to share some free game codes in the chat. Hello, Better get your Steam account ready for that. What's the game, Eric? Well, yeah. uh, you have to make a split-second decision whether you want it or not, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like me, only the finest games on my list. Nah, mine's a fucking dumpster. Oh, look at that. Oh, Leaning. we can throw stones as um, well. It's, it's Far Cry as well. <laughs> to distract people. Not a bad stealth game. I've been running through Far Cry in anticipation of Far Cry 9. It's great. Far Cry 9? Uh, yeah, I'll, like, it'll be a while before I get there. I'm, I'm going right. to miss 7 and 8. Well, why don't you just pick up the new Avatar game if you're hankering for Far Cry? That's I fair. That's what it is. It's Avatar Cry. Has it? 
<laughs> this is the sound you know, of avatars when they cry. Uh, is it is it in the same vein? Does it elevate? Is it less? No, it's pretty much mm. just Far Cry Primal, but on James Cameron's Wonka's Chocolate Factory planet. Oh, that's not bad. You know, it's not the worst thing. All Real right. Quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that, a friend. Who's that guy from the intro? Hi, I get him. What happened to me? What happened to you? What happened to all of us? Among the remains of monsters, I. Bloody, 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 bloody. You dead man walking. <laughs> you take this pack. Now, I'm doing this side quest because I got as far as that the first time I played this. The piece of and, yeah, might as well. Uh, this is how you get like a, a bow very early in the game. And a silent projectile weapon. Very nice to have. I think. Alright, first things first though. Dead man walking. Okay, just gotta get right in this guy's personal space and sell some shit. <laughs> would you say this is like a surge of immersive sims? Or or they just always been around? I think there's the, the current surge is down to nostalgia for the late 90s era for yeah. immersive sims. These developers are just coming of age, you know. It's like my turn. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so. I think I'm gonna buy the knife, sell the rusty knife. <laughs> Let's uh, see if the guns work. Sure. Probably ditch this axe as well. It's much yeah. for muchness. Uh, the same yeah, well, damage if you get the secondary attack in. So, what I'm doing is... Oh, get out of my face, you weirdo. Oh, you want a kiss? No. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't kiss him. He's got a thing on his face. <laughs> Unless I stick Good. my tongue right in that crack. Oh, that, that violates the pandemic. Leave it. Since you are here, let us explain what is needed of you. This place has been corrupted by a curse, and you and if you happen to get lost, follow the most anything else. Uh, I guess our dude is a dude who takes things in his stride pretty well. Yeah, he chills. He's, he's chill with it, why not? Let's see, uh, why you find your way? Let's read a couple of these off. Fungus Finder, two dollars, screaming yay! The Dogmatic Director, two dollars, like a true fighter, Adventures 9 gets its second wind. Uh, the Purple Marauder with the 20 knock. I need a drink in honor of the return of Adventures 9. And Mark Easter with the 500 uh, some dollary dues. Celebrating the news that Adventures 9 is now on second win. Congrats to the team. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, I forgot to buy the map. No, I can't afford it. Whoops. Now you don't know which way you're going. Oh, it's all right. I sold my note that I found. Oh, that's good. Oh, do they do that thing in Thief where you can, like, buy extra information? Uh, yes, in the, like, uh, little store... In between missions, some missions you can buy like a hint that will tell you like an optimal entry point for your upcoming mission or something. I love it. I love like plotting. Can you draw on the map here? Uh, Leave little nodes. Seems Damn. not. Not retro. So as I, I can't think of any games that let you do that. Yeah, just Eagles. the one. <laughs> All right. So we find weapons. That aren't very effective, so we can sell them. Pretty much. Um, I'm not I'm sure what money is for. Now, having played this game, uh, as I said, I found like making direct assaults on the mm. enemy, especially out in the open, was sort of a highway to getting your ass handed to you. So I'm focusing on a stealth build uh, with a side hustle in smashing the shit out of things when shit goes tits up. What are your other options? Uh, so are the things you can specialize or it's just uh, no I think pretty much it's oh. just stealth or yeah. shoot things oh I forgot I can level up um, duh, 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 duh. yeah okay see I'm sure let's increase melee speed Yeah, I'm wondering if you can become like a killing machine instead of and just forego stealth completely. Maybe not. Um, stamina regenerates faster with a melee weapon. That's pretty good. Oh bugger! Go away! Right Go, away yeah, well, Go away, menus! Go away, you great... stupid menus! <laughs> now, perhaps that was on me. I knew yeah, there was a monster there. 
But uh, I didn't think to hide somewhere. Maybe not the best place to case the joint. No, probably not. Right, right next to the enemy. <laughs> ah, experience gain. If there's ever an ability to that helps you gain experience faster, always wise to get it as, far, as soon in the game as you possibly can. Unless it's limited. That's the only time where I go, hmm, I don't know about this. All uh, right. Alcohol has weaker effect on you. Is that going to come up much? I don't know. Or is this the role-playing bit? I, I, I don't know. Fine alcohol. I mean, this isn't Fine really one of those is. games where it's like full of friendly NPCs. Yeah. Mostly it's just monster-haunted ruins. <laughs> For now. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, as creatives yourself, how do you deal with the constant anxiety you feel that someone else is going to come up with your idea first? Uh, try not to worry about it. I mean, you know how it is. Good artists borrow, great artists steal, and all that. I feel like it's never a race to be the first. I'd rather be the best, or at least the better. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a race with me. Okay, let's 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 thin some numbers. Oh. What? Stab. Proper critical hit. Look at you go. Is there uh, a way to turn the moon off? If you've watched previous Yahtzee tries episodes, yes, I will be calling my attacks in pretty much every game that I play now, because it's the strategy that tends to work. Yeah, he's a bloody it. anime character. Him. My new Calls out his signature move. Ooh. Okay, and we are Lemme. learning about spirits, which says use silver bullets. Thanks mm. for the tip. Random note. Oh, um, those kinds of spirits. Okay. And this <laughs> is a safe that we can't open. You know, oh, I always you liked pick. about uh, what what this game misses about the original Thief games is that when you're going up against dopey guards. There's a sense of satisfaction from outwitting them with your stealthy yeah. powers. And that's kind of lost when you're up against zombies, like mindless undead. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sense of, like, I got away with it and I can't wait till they find out sort yeah, of thing. That's it's, always it's what I liked gone. about uh, no. stealth games. I, uh, my favorite type of stealth games are the ones that promote more, like, non-lethality over sort of just, like, clear it out. Yeah. Get through here. Okay, okay. Huh. Top of the morning, gentlemen. Also, there's like no sense of community if they're just mindless monsters, you know? Right. The guards interact with each other. Stapple, 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 stapple. <laughs> yes, overhearing conversations. Always mm -hmm. loved doing that in Thief as well. Yeah, or they're just whistling and getting along. These are more so just idling obstacles. So our first mission is to clear out a cave full of uh, undead burks for the benefit of that uh, Native American dude who brought us back to life. The least we can do, I suppose. Scarecrow with the 10 A's. Watching you play this reminds me of the two-hour discussion at Manabar with Praz and Ben about why Thief was impossible to remake because it breaks every convention. Do you still agree today? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Scarecrow. Leveraging his like prior association with me there, I see. Um, yeah, I mean, because I think I said in my extra punctuation a while back about stealth games, Thief was like very effectively understated. And that's not a great sell to, like, big studios these days. Yeah. What are these? What are these broken conventions? Uh-oh. 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 Oh? Okay. Well, uh, had to improvise, but uh, we got through it. So you're not as dainty as you led me to believe at the start, okay. Where's that, uh... Well, I lost half my health doing that. Whatever gets the yeah, I'm sure there's like a cabbage you can eat. Look, what is that? Alright, let's get our bow build going. Into my pocket <laughs> you go. 
What was this? A coin. I'll have that. The gold coin accessory prevents you from gaining like a permanent debuff after a death. Which is fine by me. Oh yeah. Is there safes coming in this? Um don't think so. Hang on, I'll see if there's a quick save button. I don't think so, because it like respawns you at checkpoints, like Dark Souls uh -huh. style. No, Interesting. There's, no, there's uh -huh. no quick save. Gotta live with your mistakes, asshole. No. <laughs> I wanna explore the world. Okay, we finished that quest. Now we can go back to that shaman and he can pat us on the head for being such a good boy. Now we, we look for a key for the chest. That's our own quest. Don't look oh, this way. Gosh, look how much lost. more interesting things are over there, Mr. Yeah. Slimy Undead Man. Nice bit of wall. Maybe he wants to draw a cow. Yeah. Yeah. He could really make something out of this place. <laughs> Here, help me, let me help you redecorate. <laughs> there, we, there we go. We've painted the floor. Odd choice of color. Oh, look, see, band-aids. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold out, lug it back to the shaman's place, and uh, just have a rest in the bed. Uh, Again, like Dark Souls, that will make all the enemies respawn. But I don't plan to come back here. Oh, tragic. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a dead end. Ooh, what if there's some secret stuff that you could be feeling on the walls? I've been playing that Avatar game too much because suddenly my finger was were itching for the button that makes all the important things glow. What's that? What or was it an Avatar? You know, the X-ray specs button, the, uh, the yeah, Witcher yeah. vision, the detective vision <laughs> thing. <laughs> And it fucking needs it, that game, because the graphics are so fucking busy. Yeah, that's what happens when you're in the jungle. Huh? Okay. Well, we town. Nice. Okay. Let's go back to the shaman. Uh, Probably safe to run. Different to right. Yeah, you've killed most of everything, so oh. these go. Hang on. There's some lads. <laughs> Maybe I should try out my new bow on him. Yeah, this is a nice place to experiment. Oh, look at you go. Boom. Oh, Boom. headshot. Stealth Boom. archery's OP. Oh, no. The game's broken. And you can get your arrows back. I think there's like um, there's like a stat that dictates whether or not you get the arrow back. Like uh -huh. dex dexterity or something. Okay, that yeah. guy can see me. He hasn't quite put two and two together yet, though. Hmm. I think he can only hear you. Yeah, that's what uh, the he, bar can, he was definitely say. facing me. Uh -huh. Yeah, he can see me. Now he sees you. Yeah. All right, let's try this for distance. <laughs> oh, nice. That wasn't too far. Yeah. Can you loot their bodies or move them or anything? Uh, oh, this one's got a trophy. <laughs> None of them get. There's not much point in moving bodies. I mean, no one gets alerted by the corpses of their friends. It's not game, that know. kind of stealth game. Make a nice pile. Just to remember them. Love it. Run, 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 run. So, yeah. Let me go David with the ten dollars. Hey, yeah, it's fellow elder millennial here. Been watching uh, since the Heavenly Sword review. Congrats to you and your compatriots on your new independent lease on professional life. Love to see it. Thank you very much. Oh, cigar and, box. Ooh. Can have a smoke and Jim with the five dollars. Howdy, friendos! I just finished Will Destroy the Galaxy for Cash, another great book. Yeah, it's looking forward to the final book, Frost Day Radical. I am an extremist in my spare time, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, I think we're good. All right, that's your friend. Check our objectives, have a heal, yeah. Uh, we need to go search the ruined church in town and find the evil within, because we're in the mood for a middling survival horror game. Have a rest. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I was like, I he's was, jumping for the cliff, what are you doing? <laughs> I was so eager to get things moving. Yeah. That's probably when it happens, just like in Thief, you know? Something's gone wrong on the job. 
Mm-hmm. Like something going on down there. Hmm. At a dead end, or is that a cave entrance? Aha. Hmm. Well, our that. objective's up there, and the oh, cave oh. is nothing we need to go to. Oh, the problem with open worlds. Yeah, How I they know. distract me. Because <laughs> you look at something like that, you think, do I want to go there, or am I going like, to go to town, and there'll be a dude who gives me a side quest that goes there? Yeah, or just like, oh, you know, this will be a quick, like, two-minute cave. Like, nope. No. It's been two hours. Still not on the main objective. Now oh, they do respawn. Yeah. yeah, that guy does at least. Maybe I can stealth cleverly <laughs> around this bit of rock. I can oh. Stealth fall off this cliff. Oh, he's got stealth, a friend. Stealth foiled. <laughs> stealth flip him off. Oh, oh bugger. Oh, bugger. Sorry. Right. Nobody knows. Well did, done. Did, did my guy just say eat lead? That's yeah. even impractical metal to make a knife out of, Stephen Russell. <laughs> this is for writing. It's a writing utensil, this thing. Uh, did he have something to loot? His friend didn't yeah, care. Yeah, he did. Two things to loot, even. What are those things? Uh, just trophies. You just sell them at traders for an extra bit of dosh. Okay. Has it okay. been much in the ways of like utility equipment? No rope arrows, no. Not that I found so far. Sonic arrows. Oh, we got rocks. Yeah, we can throw rocks. More trophies. Mm. Look like shrimp. You got infinite rocks. You just like it just. I guess it just automatically assumes that you could probably just find one on the nearby ground. Yeah. You idiot. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. Oh, well, if it's teal, it must be a ghost. Yeah, yeah. That's how you can Espe tell. Especially in the West. Yeah. It's not a fairy, it's a ghost. Yeah, probably one of them spirits that that piece of paper was talking about. Yeah. Oh, what engine is this made of, do you know? Um, don't know. Didn't really think to check. I mean, my guess is what, Unity? Yeah, probably. Most indie games are. Yeah, or they were that. before Unity shat itself. <laughs> now it's all gone a good dough. You'll see a wave coming. Oh, another cave to get distracted by. Uh, this is a little one. Yeah, it's a baby. <gasps> oh, a friend. Okay. New face yeah. around these parts? Listen, what is going on? You certainly figured this place ain't normal. And if you really want to get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the town's taken over by evil bellends. Okay. Well. What do we got here? Uh, we got... Oh, we got alcohol that can be used as a buff. Reduces <laughs> damage from enemies. Increases... Ethereal enemies. Okay. Spirits to ward off the spirits. I get it. Soul catcher. Increase maximum stamina. Uh, slow down time when you aim down iron sights. Oh, you might need that. Nothing I can afford, really. Uh, what's his map? How's, how's his different from yours? It isn't. Well, same one. <laughs> Only his costs more. Damn. All right. Okay. What if you loot him? What if you rob him? Just run. What's my stash doing in your cave, Jim Hooper? <laughs> what does this one do? Ooh, the founder's okay. shirt has shipped, says DD Wiggles. Yeah, I also got a confirmation that the shirts should be coming through. Huh. And I said the logical larynx with the $2. I just paid $2. <laughs> and all I got was this lousy message. Okay. Watch out for the bird men. They wield firearms with incredible accuracy. Gold always breeds greed. Yeah, yeah, quick yeah. Shot. Okay, search the ruined church in town and find the evil with it. Can yeah, do. that's a game. Yes, yes, we made that joke. <laughs> oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. 
<laughs> That'd be a good idea of an enemy, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Evil living tumbleweed. Yeah, I'll put it like as a mimic, so you don't know until it's already on you. Yeah. Love it. Oh, well, something's uh, hearing me. I guess it's yeah. that guy. That fella, yeah. Oh, he's just having a good time in his little fort. Just gonna ruin that for him. Can you climb? Tried, but I doubt it. Oh, there's a fella. Does he know? No. Nah. Um, we have found Let a whetstone. Oh. Probably lets you sharpen your knife for a temporary buff. And we've got more treasures to sell for Dot. So you loot first and then kill. Well, I'm going by thief attitudes. Oh, he's right outside the door. I said knock everyone out and then uh, have a go. It's great. More silver. Oh. Have, you running out, have you ever running out of silver bullets? Can you just, like, fling a silver butter knife and... I think it counts. Hope for the best. Yeah, is it is it the silver itself or the fact that it was a bullet? Oh. Huh? There's a dude. I'm taking the risk. Look at you. One <laughs> headshot. All right. I mean, it counts. Oh, shit. What the hell do you come from? <laughs> These big thickums. Well, let's say yeah. nobody heard that. It took no damage. Yeah, I don't know if they patrol proper. I hope nobody th was heard that and thought, why, that sounded like my friend Roaring Lionel. I'd better go and see what's the up, what's the matter with him. Yeah, I not quite want him. Oh, there's the church. Yeah. That church silhouette. And there's spirits. I should have brought your alcohol. Yeah. And my silver bullets. I've got two gold bullets. Damn. Which I Does guess, that count? I, I guess they, that also works. <laughs> like, what if it's the spirit of an aristocrat, yeah? Like the gold could work then. Well, then you'd shoot your bullets to appease them. And there we go. Oh, thank you for the gold bullets. Right. You have bought your life this day. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, I wondered why he didn't see that, but then we don't really know what this guy does has eyes does he have eyes I can't really tell he might just be blind <laughs> animated dead and where there's an animated dead there's a dead animator probably in the I'm church just, I'm just picturing the scene from Monty Python and the Holy Grail you we beloved Okay, well, here's the church. There you go. Shit! Oh, oh boy, those that are the was, things we were warning about. Boy, that was ill-advised. Oh. What the hell? Oh, this has turned into something else. Oh. Yeah, eat it. Ooh. And you. Ooh. Oh, and like you. Take a band-aid. Shit, 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 shit. Drink, drink the potion, drink the potion. Oh, too late. Damn. Good shots. You know what you're up against now. You're good. Where are we? Yes. Well, we had a gold coin, so we didn't get a debuff. And now we've... Uh, well, we kept all that shit we stole. Interesting. What is the debuff? Have a minute. I don't know. I mean, the last, when I was playing yesterday, I died once, and they said, you died one out of three times. After three times, you will get a curse. Thanks, pal. Oh, I hope it like makes you like really loud feet or something. Oh, okay. That guy just gave me a quest that he didn't give me before for some reason. <laughs> I only I only give quests to people who fail the first one. All right. Quest. All right. Back in you get. Right, Robo. Back to Where the church for realsies. 
And in the meantime, Robot Likes $5 is Auntie Nora from today's Fully Ramblematic, the same one famed for farting for five minutes. Uh, I guess that might have crossed my mind. <laughs> Canon now. Yes, we didn't All watch right. it. Today's uh, Fully Ramblematic was a double bill on Persona 5 Tactica and American Arcadia. Yeah, one game with a decent go and a bad ending, and another game with decent go and a good ending. Combine them, you get one huh. kind of okay game. Well, it didn't Wait, he like, stayed dead. Yeah, he didn't uh, reset the enemies like the way resting in a bed does. So that's good. Huh. Why sleep? That means these guys are dead too, then, yeah? Uh, yep, here's a small oh, pile of corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Still with my arrows, I'll take those back. Use. Thank you very much. And they've all got guns. Oh, crack shots, them. I'll just unload the ammo, just in case. Feathers, too. Huh? Yeah, a feather that uh, increases stamina regeneration by 25%, but lowers maximum stamina by 10%, which sounds like a good trade-off to me. I'd have a go, yeah. Just slam it some more. And did you have to die so close to each other? It's hard to <laughs> loot you all now. See, now you wish you could drag bodies. Ah, good point. Uh, yeah, I'm not see me. Just turn Which around. Point? Maybe I can make you turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, that works. Although he was turned around anyway at that point. And I just oh. disappeared behind the cross. Him. <laughs> peripheral vision, peripheral vision. He saw nothing. Oh. Oh, right. bugger. Ow. Ow, my face. Ow, my beautiful face. Oh, now I recognize the slashing. It's like Counter Strike. Yeah. The big lunge attack. I guess that's just a valve thing. Okay. Oh, there's something stinky in this church, and we're going to find out what it is. Yes. Something that can hear me, apparently. Mm -hmm. The ghost skulls, maybe. No. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, it's them ghost skulls again. <laughs> you still don't have silver. No. I wonder if, like, anything will hurt them, but just not hurt them as much. Yeah, let's hope. Not full-blown immunity, just a little bit. Well, let's give ourselves the best possible chance. <laughs> Two shotguns. Well, I'm hoping the skull's the only thing in there. Go back to the grave where you killed the zombie, says Typhoon. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, can you loot that stuff? Okay, let's go look. They're essentially just like lockers on the ground. I don't mind us, just the gardener. Da, 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 da. Can't loot these. Oh, no. uh, uh, oh, 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 decapitator. You've got one. A decapitator. A nasty looking shotgun. But it that does more damage. Headshots uh, regenerate 5 HP. Wow. Sold. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, never mind. I thought it, the green meant the rarity went up. Never mind. <laughs> That's just you hovering. Well, but, if a decapitator uh, doesn't work on a skull, I don't know what will. If it doesn't have a body, can it be decapitated? Well, if we destroy the head, then that's yeah. decapitation, isn't it? I think it has to be attached to something. I will find out. Not necessarily. Well, yeah. How does one stealth kill a head? Uh, when the eyes are looking the other way. Yeah. Technically, nothing should be working. You ho, Mr. Skull. Don't come back. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. I did you say did. headshot. I mean, one can yeah. hardly get anything else. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, a tunnel leading underground. Love it. This it's seems like a vent. like a way to go. Hold on. What's on the pyre? Pyre? Well, the freaking the altar thing, yeah. That looks like a chest or what is that? Ooh, something shiny. This really is bringing back the old thief instincts. Yeah, I'm gonna. No. Oh, oh, there's three of them. I'm gonna leave them yeah. to their own devices. Okay. Oh, well, off you get. What was your quest again? Check the church and what? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Search the church. Find the evil within. Well, there it is. There Gotta you go. go deeper. Uh, so I'm next assuming stick. this very obvious hole in the ground is going to lead us <laughs> to the evil within. Straight to the evil, you know. Next week with the $5. Yahtzee hated E3. He went to the last E3, and now E3 is dead. All hail Yahtzee. What convention will you go slash destroy next? We'll do well, our own. Yeah, let's see how GDC does. <laughs> I, went, I went to that. Oh, God. Once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, three times is enemy action. Hmm. I got that from What's... a James Bond book. I was about to say... <laughs> Oh, this is just like in Black Ops, going through the tunnels, finding the enemy. I'll tell you what, this game's very well lit. Do you think? Well, did, there's, no, I, there's no shadow play. Well, I did adjust the gamma a bit. Uh. Hmm. Looks like we've got a bit of a labyrinth on our hands, so we should probably be a bit more systematic about this. See, if we could drag bodies, we could leave breadcrumbs. Oh, shut up about dragging the bodies. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to follow the right-hand wall. That's the labyrinth strategy. It's in early access? Ah, oh, damn, you're right. It'll never happen. I see you. My least favorite part of a hospital. Too many babies. Oh. oh, there's something over there. Ah. I think it's one of them bird men. Oh, yeah, it's a shooter. Perhaps we can get the drop on him. Yeah, you've got good cover here. You could probably just shoot him. With the bow, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. Yep. Ow. Oh, he knew. <laughs> oh, that guy's taking the piss. Oh. Oh, my God. Got outshot. Tragic. Interesting. The uh, bullets are projectiles, not like hit scan. Okay, we've got a soul floor. Three soul floors equals curse. Okay. So I kind of wish there'd been a checkpoint at some point. But if, as if long you... as the enemies don't respawn, I'm not that bothered. Yeah, yeah. It's not bothered. Get moved on. Yeah, it reminds me of in Skyrim how they patched the giants to like slide away if you were trying to exploit them. Oh, that's great. Whoop. This is. Oh, well, oh, you're alive again. Wait, who's Shit. that? There's a what? guy. What? Oh, bugger. That, I ain't dealing me. with you assholes. <laughs> this is my thief experience, yeah. Just started getting faster. Most most stealth games break down when you just go fast. This nice guy's step. got the basic decency to still be dead. No, he's asleep on the watch. Oh, you're a... Wow. You're a... You're a persistent pillar, can't you? I don't want your feather. I've already got one. <laughs> no band-aids. Do they stack? What if you had three of them? Okay. Those bird boys are really starting to piss me off as enemies. And they're just the second one you've met. I know. 
sort of like staggered these motherfuckers out a bit. Usually, yeah, like uh, the ones that are sharpshooters, that's uh, usually like a late entry to these games. Oh. Um, there he is again. See, if you can get the drop on them, they're easy peasy. Sure. Man, I was like breaking arrows left, right, and center on the first time I played. Just because I got this one ability that makes it less likely for the arrows to break, suddenly none of them are breaking. Hmm. It's a good investment. All right. Uh, what's this? We got Beast Marsh five dollars. Just read the news on Patreon. What an excellent early Christmas present! I'm so happy for the second win crew. Yes, and aren't you lucky? <laughs> and remember, you can, remember, you can support Ventures Nye and all our content by supporting us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Second Wind Group. It's how we can feed ourselves. Trademark. Yeah. Some of us are a little thicker than the rest. Humane yeah. Shield with $1.99. Yahtzee, any chance of you trying Star Trek Virtual Reality? Uh, well, I tried Bridge Crew. Is that the same thing? I suppose, yeah. It's never enough. Do you have a VR machine? Yeah, I got a bunch. I got an Oculus Quest 2. I've got my old Valve Index lying around somewhere. Maybe that's what this needs, like a VR adaptability. I'm sure it could be fairly easily modded in. Most first-person games are. I could see it. Ah, here's all his arrows I wasted ah. when I was panicking <laughs> earlier. Whatever yep, the job done. Oh, my God. A berry ship piece with the 50-pound... The Avengers Night Crew is back. Let's fucking go. Happy Christmas, Hell Satan, etc. I'm quite happy about this. Just saw it on Twitter. Yeah, it's it. We're certainly happy about it. Yeah, if we don't sound ecstatic, it's because it's been a hell of uh, three weeks <laughs> waiting for it. Okay, I, have I explored everywhere yet? I feel like I haven't found whatever this mission's directing me at. I mean, I wonder what fall damage is like. What's down there? I ain't gonna risk that. <laughs> no one had a piece of paper for you? Well, I think I don't think I've just looked over here. Ah, there you go. There's uh something spotting me. Yeah, he's on the other side of that bridge. I didn't see it. Maybe there's not too much glare on my screen. Well do you? No. Nope. Like, what, what kind of dude was it? Kinda of birdie I don't know, he seemed odd. Oh, yeah, it's a birdie. Watch the birdie, Whoa. everyone. Oh, wait. Are you the evil within? Oh, crap, he's getting close. Maybe you just shank him when he gets... Oh, or that. Ha, 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 no. ha. <laughs> I feel my knowledge has increased. Yeah. Specifically, I've learned not to rely on the knife so much. Just a quick headshot will do. Loading the ammo again. Bullets and arrows need them all. Okay, let's find Ooh. a nice, safe, quiet spot to level up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you know, for a game that refuses to have checkpoints, I feel like there's a lot of ways to die. Yeah. Not all. Well, that's how you, that gets you invested. Okay, uh, chance to dodge ranged attacks. I'm all about that. <laughs> Decreased damage from bleeding, trading prices. What's oh, it did you say greatly uh, increase your chance of successfully retrieving arrows. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. jolly good. You do, everything respawns when you sleep, but, but you get XP on kills. What's to stop me from power leveling? Well, absolutely nothing, I'm sure. Uh, what is it that keeps me honest? Religion. Okay, how do I fancy the range on this thing? Oh. You're not welcome here. Oh, it's ah. too dark for them to know. Look at that. Are you a birdie man? Oh no, you're not. You're something. Else. You're something worse. Ooh, big thickums. Shit. Heavy is the burden. 
You know, I'm, I'm not going to blame the game for this. I that was on me. I should have. I shouldn't have frozen up like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm proud of you. Man enough to own up to it. I wanted to say maybe you know the game could do more to indicate when I'm low on health. Mm. It always seems because it always kind of takes me by surprise when I die. What you want the Call of Duty like red vision thing yeah, going on? I want to, oh. I want the, to smear jam on my spectacles. You see, it's like what a week it's been. You want red jam and you want yellow paint. What's going on? I don't want yellow paint. I think Marty's the one who wants yellow paint. Then you want it for Avatar. Um, I just would just like Avatar to mow its lawn a few uh, a few times, <laughs> so I can actually yeah. see the things it's trying to get me to see. Fair. So you don't need the the whole jungle gone, but maybe like a Brazilian will do. What? How? What are you feeling about this game? I gotta say, I don't hate it. I mean, that's that's where I'm sitting right now. I maybe it would be nicer if I could equip more than two weapons. If I could quickly switch to something more powerful. If I'm in a scenario where one of the melee dudes has closed distance and I need to react. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like if it, if it's on the account, I might give it a go. And if I'm left dissatisfied, I still have like three levels left on Thief Two. Oh, it's so. not on the account. I had to buy this. Ah, tragic. So I know, I know. What a bore. <laughs> I'm used to getting free stuff. Mm -hmm. Still can. Just have to talk to people now. Do you want to go back to where we died, or do you want to check out that ominous staircase leading down into the earth I just found? I mean, I think that's yeah. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Yeah. What would you gain from going back to where you died? I don't know. Revenge. Yeah. What if this is just a dead end? Off we get. Yeah, see, if I were hiding evil within somewhere, I'd put it down there. How in is this evil? Pretty weird. feel like we've penetrated multiple layers of in. Yeah. Well, not too deep for a mine shaft. Oh my god, look at that. This is just like Indiana Jones 2. Temple of uh, Doom. Dead guys. I hate these on, guys. On your right, bird, on your right. Shit. Oh, good on you, good on you. Well, at least I didn't alert anyone, somehow. Mm. <laughs> mm, spicy. Why oh, did, geez. Why did, why did Stephen Russell just say, mmm, spicy? <laughs> the feather, I don't know. Uh, this is uh, one of those games where they feel they have to have the character say something whenever you pick something up. Maybe it's in reference to something, I don't know. God knows what. Yeah. Giving it away. Next, like two dollars. Please go to the video game awards so it dies next. You are, um, what is it? The, the Grim. That's what you are. Just bringing death. Yes. I'm a omen of doom. Yeah. Okay, I think there's another birdie there I should probably deal with. Hmm. Is there a post dad <laughs> game with gardening? Interesting. Uh. Oh, yeah, these no, headshots have pretty already. decent comic timing. No, I mean that's the thing I I like right now. Uh, I don't think I'd tolerate having to backstab everything, but headshotting things I'm all right for. You'd probably like RoboCop the game. Oh God, probably. <laughs> Do like me a nice even killed shooter. This, I'm alerting something, but. Nothing's nearby. Maybe they're underneath the floor. Yeah, a post dad game with gardening. Oh god, one doesn't uh, come to mind. Uh, well, you could just play Harvest Moon. Yeah, there you go. Actually, we just got a code for House Flipper too. Maybe that'll have something gardening adjacent. Sure, but is that post dad? I feel like um, that's just dad. Oh bugger! Oh. Okay, you asked for it. By okay. it, me own death. <laughs> By it, I mean me being dead, Something apparently. Wicked. Served on a platter. I mean, I pressed fire, and the shotgun did not fire. I don't know what more the game wanted from me there. Wait, did you even have bullets? That might be what it wanted from you. Now it works. 
Uh, oh, are you cursed? Does that happen? Or you got oh, one more? I think I might be. Hang on. Lament ye, poor soul. Yeah, there's a there curse. It could be arranged, yes. Let's see. The spirit of great cat looks upon you. Kill the accursed ones in a way that will... Um, okay. To lift the curse, I need to kill a certain number of enemies stealthily. You like... just keep doing what you're already doing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, but look at the curse. I'm noisier when sneaking. Mm-hmm. Shame. If only you that's, had a bow. That's an unfortunate combination of curse versus solution to curse, isn't it? That's actually what I said, didn't I? Yeah. What happens if you get cursed? You end up with these clown shoes. <laughs> you gotta walk around with an egg timer. It goes off every two minutes. Well, let's see what respawns this time. Oh, I used to have loads of arrows. Where'd they all go? Do I feel like you missed? Or they're stuck in faces? I guess I could start building up my stealth kill quota. Yeah? That's it. Walk that way. Oh. Well, need to stop this bleeding. Uh, weren't stealthy at all. No. For some reason, he could hear me while I was sneaking. If only there was some explanation. <laughs> it's these damn bells on my shoes. All the gallows and everything. Oh no, you've got much to live for yet. Don't do it. Oh, okay. You're much too a, tall for that one, anyways. Just a fleeting thought. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> if you should, if you just kill dudes with the arrow to the head, does that count as a stealth kill? Do you think? No, no, no. I feel like a stealth kill just for oh, they're all back. <laughs> and they will follow you in here. Don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait for him. Oh. Hi, Mr. Birdie. What? There's two of you. Yeah, yeah. Twins, even. How well, more can they something tells you we're more. not going to get much further in this game. <laughs> um, there you are. Let's go check out this other objective we've got. You know, I'm probably just not applying myself enough. If I was like playing this game for real Z's for serious, I'd uh I'd try to be a bit more careful with all this. I don't know. Uh I mean that's the, that's the balance you try to strike. Proper exploration of a game's mechanics versus proper yeah. application. Those birdmen do feel a bit OP. Yeah. I mean, so are you to an extent. Ooh. Dog up. Oh, oh shit. three of them. What a. <laughs> Did you run into a village of them? Oh, God. Yeah, just eat the bullet, yeah. Go just away. Straight to your own head. Oh. Thank you, Mother Trucker. <laughs> I have a rendezvous. How do you feel about the layout Guest of everything? I kind of like the more urban uh, stealth games. Yeah, it's hard to do stealth in like big open areas, I suppose. But not just that. It feels more like I guess lived in, as instead of just like here, place one there, place one there, mm. random encampments. Even Elden Ring had those, and I was like, what's this? What's all this? I feel like 90% of the times I've died, it's because I've been... because of birdie lads. Oh. Okay. 
I'm gonna try out these gold bullets. Oh, an arrow broke. What? Hmm. So it's oh, yeah. still happen. Oh, look okay. at you go. Gold bullets. Uh, dude. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it's talking to me. <laughs> oh god. Oh. What's happening? What's happening in this camp? Well, we only had four gold bullets, but we made them count. Mm-hmm. What the hell is this? Well. I, uh, think, I think you just shot a bird stripper. Rusty shotgun, eh? Or a, yeah, it was a burlesque outfit going on here. It's called a prodigal daughter, according to this. Oh. Well, a little Oedipus Schmedipus, eh? Yeah. God, you love, I love it when these monster designers remember to preserve the cleavage. <laughs> She's wearing a whatever that thing's called. Not a bonnet. A corset. Of course, it, yeah, there's another thing. I forgot what it were. Uh, a mask. A yeah, skull, that. A skull. What pronounces uh, the cleavage? Yeah. <laughs> it makes me think of um, that's that bloke who put out a patch for System Shock Two. That uh, was ostensibly like an HD patch, and they replaced like the the uh, cyborg midwives with cyborg midwives with huge tits um, <laughs> sticking out. Yeah, yeah. It's just like playing this while making sure nobody from no one's at home. Well, right. uh. Just a random camp. We've reached the end of our first hour, so we're going to move on. But, uh. Well, I, I think I would say at this point that I'd be willing to give this game more time. But, uh, I think I need to find a more reliable combat system for when the chips are down. And I'm in a panic. Yeah. Well, I guess the only reliable thing is just not to get to that position, eh? Well, it's all very well to say that. Sure. Did it have multiple difficulties the way other others do? I don't think so. I don't remember being mm. asked. All right, I'm going to change to the company's Steam account. Again, right, what a go. bore. What a bore. And as we're swapping, I'm going to flood you guys with ads. Remember, for even a dollar on the Patreon, you guys support everything that we do here. We just got back. Adventure is nigh. We got more shows coming out. I'm going to make Nick eat a Big Mac when that comes through once more. Uh, yeah, lots of great things. And we're swapping over to Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's, we um, sure are, which I have to admit I've been curious about. Because sure. I said a while back, that uh, I have a suspicion that sooner or later the big corporate dicks are going to notice that cozy games are really popular and they're going to want to get a piece of the pie. So I want to see how effectively they're securing themselves a piece of that pie. I'm still amazed that they've not tapped in like the vampire survivor crowd. I see like like God of War is getting a roguelike mode, but nothing, yeah. nothing I mean, even bullet like Putting the word valley in the title is kind of the giveaway for me. Yeah, yeah. DV. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, do valley. Oh, dear God. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'll make you a Disney sona. Come on. I suddenly flash back to the first time I bought an Xbox. <laughs> um, Go on then. Oh. Make yourself. Oh. Okay, I'll pick the first dude I see with a beard. You can give them beards. You can give them anything you want. Well, I can't... Can I have glasses? This is your Disney surrogate. I can't have those. Oh, I can have eyeshadow, but I can't have glasses. Uh, style over function. Well, I think not. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um... What's, what's your Disney name? Um... Favorite Disney character? Gob Job. Gob Job? <laughs> Spitting image of you. Yeah. Our story begins with an ending. As you decide, it's time to leave the city behind. 
You don't know me. Oh, this is very bourgeois so far. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, mm. you found that life was simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come true. <laughs> Robulus on Twitch says, Ugh, my wife loves this game. Rest. This is a bit of an emotional roller coaster of a sentence. <laughs> Um, I think mine maxed out three accounts, so do it that way, you will. Oh, there we go. I mean, from what I hear, it's Star Dude, but just 3D. Well, there's a lot of games that are like that, like uh, My Time at Porsche, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, more coming got, out. This has got Disney characters. These nuts. Boy. That's the difference. Recognizable IP. Hey kids, it's Disney's Merlin trademark. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot how sexy I was. Well, hello. Oh. <laughs> Every time he catches himself in a mirror. <laughs> I guess I'm committing to the control over this. Who are you hoping to meet here? Who's your favorite Disney character? What? Uh, um, um, Spider-Man. Ah, that does count. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not wondering who you are because it says so at the top of all your speech bubbles. Oh, he even had a choice for you. Yeah. Duh, you're Merlin. Nice, yeah. condescending. Yeah. <laughs> what nonsense! I'm Gobjob. Couldn't you tell? <laughs> Superb! <laughs> oh, saving Dreamlight Valley. Well, I didn't sign up for that. I just wanted to plant some turnips. Hmm. Oh, can I can I guess? Can I take a wild stab? Are we going to be saving the valley from the darkness? The darkness, TM. Ah, yes. No, the forgetting. Oh, the Ooh. forgetting. I was pretty close. Oh, yeah. That's where we go. Well. Yeah. Video games went from like, lava, the void. Now I'm forgetting. Oh, can we just? Dream oh, there we go. Get your money's worth, place. people. Look at that. Here they are. Wow, your Disney dopamine receptors just exploding. I was at Disneyland Until fairly recently. That might be what drew me to this game. <laughs> yeah, while you were there, they gave you the jab, and now you're infected. Seek out Disney. Could we just get to gameplay, please? Some of us have only got an hour to fill. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is a bit of, like, for, for people who want nice, slow, methodical gameplay. Okay, here we go. Move with the left stick, look around with the right stick, use A to interact with your surroundings. Well, mm -hmm. this game clearly doesn't know that I'm a vet. <laughs> what are you about to exploit? What are you doing? Oh, that's a tiny house. Yeah. Well. Outstanding. Yes, let's do this. I'm all over it. <laughs> it's got Xbox 360 lanterns. Oh my goodness. I knew it. Phil Spencer's here. Oh no. Oh look, spider webs. Spider man webs. Oh, yeah. oh it's 
It's like an Animal Crossing house. It's missing a fourth wall. Well, I, mm. I this is a very tiny house, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> what is DM okay. plan? Yeah. Five dollars. Yatsu's avatar looks like Frost after being stuck on an island for a while. Do get pretty tan if I let the sun touch me. Oh, look at you. You look fantastic as you declutter. Yeah. Just uh, collecting resources, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Well, who's that mysterious figure scratching his ass in the foreground? <laughs> Who could it be? But, hey, that's my chair, asshole. Mm -hmm. Hello! Huh? Oh, they hijacked the plot of Loop Hero. Oh, the royal tools filled with <laughs> the ancient, powerful magic to plant turnips, I'm hoping. <laughs> Is Stardew Valley like this? Got like a big overarching objective? I mean, sort of. Stardew Valley's like, hey, here's your farm. I'll be back in three years to judge you. Uh, go nuts. See, I'm okay with that. So I leave me be. Let me just plant things. <laughs> Come on, I want to go and meet fucking Snick, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, and Iago. To match Frost's t shirt. Is that go. why you the wore that t shirt, incidentally? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Splendid. Of course. Got a few Disney things, but I think this is my favorite Disney thing. Lilo. Budgie Baba. There is no fucking end of Disney things in my house at the moment. You didn't wear any of it. The kids love it. No mouse ears, oh, no, no Of course, it's not down here. This is my office. This is my, <laughs> this man is my cave. sanctum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is your man cave now. And you're dethorning. Yeah, let's do some gardening. That's all we're here for. Yeah, there we go. Of it. And Tsunami Dusha with a $20. Amazing. You got Nick fired, changed brands, and started a new company from scratch just to promote adventures. Nah, you mad lads. Kidding aside, Second Wind thrives. We yeah. do not underestimate how much we really like playing D&D &D together. Mm -hmm. This is one of those uh, shitty running situations where you just press forwards in any direction and your dude just instantly breaks into a full sprint. I'm kind of okay with it. It's such a bobbing run, though, as well. <laughs> it's Disney. This is how, when you're in Disneyland, you can only move like this. Look how far up and down my head goes. Mm. It's a good thing this isn't a first-person game, or I'd be feeling pretty sick by now. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's third-person, for sure. I don't even think uh, you could see it isometrically. Oh, here it comes. Claim rewards. Go. Get your premium currency now, sheep. <laughs> Did you ever play Slime Rancher? Oh. I uh, can't say I did. Really? I feel like that would be an addiction um, that you couldn't bear. I really do not want to connect to the cloud. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> I get enough shitty spam email as it is. I could do I'm, with more. What no. am I trying to do? Uh, find the royal pickaxe. Um, you were going to save from the forgetting, but you forgot. So <laughs> oh, I think, I think we that's lost. how powerful it is. Uh. Uh, Look at that. Oh, you can it's, harvest. The it's the missions. Yeah, you can harvest garlic. You can harvest basil. You have a good one. Basil. Basil. From Faulty Towers. Not Basil. I say it, uh, depending on whoever's next to me. There's, oh, well, there's no one away. That's, that's thoughtful of you, but you should know I've lived in America for a while now, and it throws <laughs> me when people say it the British way. Sure, sure. It's like, what? They found me. Oh, hey, look who it is. Oh, good, I'm go. Hey, Scrooge McDuck. Um, oh, turn into you. a squirrel. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. 
Oh, was, did the game just assume I wanted to give a gift to that squirrel? I think so, yeah. I think you missed. Skill issue. Greetings, neighbor. Why, why are you a duck? What? He's always been a duck. I know, but I'm a person, so surely this would be throwing me more. Sure. You knew what you were getting into. Huh? Well, I did, but my avatar didn't. <laughs> they, they just fell asleep in a garden, and now they're being talked to by a Scottish duck. You'd think well, imagine they'd, be more, yeah. they'd be more thrown. Maybe. I mean, you've probably just made a Disney adult come out the incubator. Uh -huh. Oh, Scrooge McDuck wants my money. Welcome oh. to capitalism. <laughs> should, should have known that the first character we'd meet in a modern Disney game is the fucking ultra capitalist. Is that like a Stardew? Is he the Tom Nook? I guess that makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? Mm. Also, that's Animal Crossing, not Stardew. Damn. What's Stardew? Uh, Jojo Mart, I think. Okay. Well, there's this is there a difference then. between the two? Oh, I don't want to find Goofy. A lot of thorns. I'd recognize these thorns anywhere. It's the evil queen from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I don't have any energy. Shit. Oh my god. This is where you have to pay real money for energy. <laughs> yeah, here it comes. Where's my inventory? Here it is. How far oh, do I uh, get before they charge me? Boy, that's a lazily designed loot box. Oh, look at me. I know how the gradient and the rounded rectangle tool works in Photoshop. That looks like an app. <laughs> like a phone app. Oh, well, well, we found something to eat. I'll tell you what. I've, you know, I don't like loot boxes, but if you're going to have them, that was pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't even uh, spare the budget to make it jump around the screen, emitting particle effects before it opened, like some games. Yep. Or like, tell me I almost got a legendary, but I missed. Oh. All right, fine. Let, let's go find Goofy in the meadow. Oh boy, Gorsh. He's not even pinned yet. Any? Oh, south. Hey, here's, here's the money maker right here. There you go, look at that. The queue at Disneyland for getting to beat the dude in the Mickey costume and get take a photo with your kid. It's beyond belief. You gotta wait like 45 minutes. I bet he feels like a god. <laughs> People queuing to worship him. Well, you gotta, I suppose that's the sort of career path where you gotta love the work. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard stories of Disney mascot people. Thanks, pal. Real soon. Oh, yeah, and the soundtrack is the Mickey Mouse Club March. I've become horribly familiar with that song as well. Miska, Muska, Mickey don't Mouse. You, don't you start. <laughs> it's good as far as, like, uh, children's programming goes. I don't know. I haven't watched Bluey yet. I'm waiting for my firstborn. And then I'll, I'll yeah, give it a go. Yeah. yeah, don't spoil it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't get sick of it before the child arrives. Yeah, it's like, you know what? You're going to watch First Blood, just like me and my dad. <laughs> Sorry, I was just... Um... Just thrown by the facial expression on the beast in the background. Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, boy, I've been looking forward to this all fucking day. Look at it. <laughs> ah, Remy was there. There we go. Yeah. That's like my second favorite character. And what's her name from Wall-E? Eve. Thank Eva. Yeah. <laughs> oh. why nah, you, theoretical. Why theoretical. are you covered in LEDs, Mickey Mouse? I think, look at him, I think he's having a heroin withdrawal in the corner. Yeah, those are just beads of sweat. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you carrying, mister? <laughs> Like me, a good compendium. Collect one of everything. Sure. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. So we need to find this location, I guess, for this quest. Uh -huh. That's just south of you. Is it? Yeah, it's on the map. Is it? Where's the map? So you're the one yeah. driving. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Personal space, Becky. Get your uh, nose so out of my flies. Not a problem until you suck dick for it, I guess. See, there's the meadow. Glade of Trust. Hmm. Excuse my highly contemptful tone of voice. <laughs> where are you going? I don't know. I'm just checking around where we're going to be going in the future. Oh, I wonder where Simba's going to be. Sunlit Plateau. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah peaceful the Meadows, where it's nothing. Can't here. go to the Forgotten Lands. Well, that's not where the light touches. Oh, damn. You must never go there. Okay, would help if I had some kind of compass. Showing me um, the way was uh, north. Says so you got to go down some stairs, I assume, down those stairs. Oh god, is that his house? That's a tall house for a tall dog. Don't mind me, Jeff Bezos the duck. <laughs> ah, now this is what oh, we need yeah, that pickaxe yeah. for, isn't it? It's all coming together now. Except I've been uprooting roots all over this plaza and I haven't found any tools yet. I'm supposed to find four of the buggers. Hmm. Oh, well, I can harvest apples. That's got something. carrots, you got apples now, yeah. You won't starve. That's good. Good. It is a good idea to don't starve. A puzzle piece? What? Oh? Okay. Mysterious letters. Flowers. A chest. So you've already got the main missions, you've got a compendium, and now you've got puzzles, too. <sighs> I just want my pickaxe. Are you missing something? How come you haven't gotten it? I don't know. It just says it's in the plaza somewhere. I want to plant turnips. That's <laughs> usually what you would be doing at this point in the cosy farming sim life uh, sim game thing. I swear to God. Oh, Lord. Are we having a games journalist moment? It's possible. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to I don't want to be the new Cuphead guy. Let it be known. I'm not the one controlling the character. Is it just in one of these routes? I feel I feel it odd that you haven't hit on something yet. So maybe not. Hang about, hang about. Okay, acquire the royal tools in the village. Three of them are in the plaza, which is where we are. This is stuck in a stone. Find a rock. Uh, not that way. Uh, no, that, that's DLC, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, forgive me. Uh, I got ideas about my station for a moment there. Oh. Merlin, help a brother out. <laughs> I'll throw you off this bridge. Oh, hello. Listen God job. Closely. I don't I don't ah, know. Such a shame. What nonsense. Thank yes, show what? me things. Nothing. Show me wonderful <laughs> things. <laughs> Oh god, I don't want to follow him. I don't feel relaxed in this cozy game. Uh, now, see here. 
This is very tense. Yes, in, indeed. <sighs> oh, dreamlike magic goes stronger through acts of friendship, love, and care. Is that what? Is that the currency here? But what if I want to give someone a gift as an act of aggression? Like <laughs> to try to force my way into their home to see my kids? I oh. couldn't have done better myself. That's the this question what, Disney uh, never has an answer for. Yeah, yeah. Never showed you what happened in Lady in the Tramp. Oh. Uh. I see. There's a rock somewhere. Ooh. Give that oh. objective. Oh, oh. oh. Ah, ha! I found it. That's one. Do I? A shovel with uh, an LED on it. Maybe it's like a little digital clock. <laughs> you can tell the time as you, yeah. as you use the shovel. Yeah, shovel time. Well, where is it then? How do uh, I get my shovel? Oh, oh, there we go. In your Hot Wheel, probably. Yeah. Oh my god. Pull yes. It out of there. Now we're cozy gaming. <laughs> now you can plant turnips. Oh, plant seed. Oh, I need an axe for the wooden stumps and a pickaxe yeah. for the rocks. That's classic Stardew Valley stuff. Oh, hang on. This is the place in Mickey's photo. So I have to use the recipe in my backpack. Oh, of course. Should have guessed. Mm. You just count. You're just walking around with that thing on you. That thing being fruit salad. Okay. Okay. Did I win? Now talk to Mickey. Okay. Oh. Right, I'm okay. I'm crushing this cozy game. There you go. Yeah, this game made for children. Putting the fuck on it. Is it though? I think this game. No, I don't think this, so. This game's made for Disney adults. That's why the main yeah, character so, yeah. is a Disney adult. Fair. Yeah. Oh, look, there he is. Hi, Mickey. Oh, yeah, you sensed that you could get some attention from us, didn't you? <laughs> could you come yeah, it's all right. Have your little moment. Ah. Abdel Corrales with the two R's. Does the shovel make this a shovelware? Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. Oh, we can find that's a pickaxe. That's an yeah. awkward pose he's stuck in right there. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't trust I, him. I don't like the way he's staring at me. Yeah. Like, not at my character, at me. No, no, no. <laughs> Carnivores have their eyes on the front of their face. I'd feel better if he blinked. Mm -hmm. Okay, shut up. I need to go back to pickaxe hunting. Oh, you got a new outfit. Oh, joy. <laughs> now I can stop looking like fucking Mr. Darcy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's a lot of categories for stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look, you wanted glasses, there they are. Ah, I've already got some, seems. Oh, yeah. Looks, oh, looks nice. just like you. Oh, hey. Now I look like a pillock. Oh, nice, yeah. Andrew Hickenbottom with the five pound. 85 hour playtime early access veteran here. Proper got its claws in me to like, grew sick of it. P.S. Bambi's not in it. Not yet? Oh. oh well, Tragic. that's uh, spoiled it. Damn. Oh, hey. Look what I found. Oh, look at that. On the rock. Just like they said. Are there any Star Wars characters in this slime because I'm Give it a few DLCs. <laughs> I'm sure, sure it's on the uh, roadmap somewhere. Yeah, we'll get Bob Iger himself too. Walt Disney. They're all coming. Oh, Ooh, that, that nice made stars. the sun come out. Oh. 
Uh, we're still missing a fishing rod and a watering can. Uh, oh, yeah. Have you checked Remy's larder? Uh, Must I? It looks like his restaurant's run down. I don't think he's got anything in it. Um, I'm holding out for these last couple of tools, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, no. We need to find the watering can in the plaza as well. Mm. Which by the logic of the pickaxe, will be found in a pond or lodged in a plant. Uh, let's see, Eric with the 50, 50 R's. You're missing the RGB gamer clothing that was given as a Twitch drop, which I, pro I don't doubt. I'm sure that was a thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> They're a big streaming community, the Disney's Dreamlight Valley. I mean, the cozy community is pretty big, and they they wander them. Well, that didn't give me much energy. No. That's a good message for the kids, isn't it? Not yeah. apples. Apples are shit. Just eat <laughs> cookies. <laughs> this isn't for the kids, though. This is for the oh, Disney right, adults. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've established that. Yeah. What's in here? Uh, oh, I found s slightly different coloured rocks. Hmm. Is this still an early access? No, I mean, um, I picked it to play because it, uh, like, 1.0 hit, like, last week. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Or fairly recently, at least. Yeah, my... My significant other put it down because there wasn't enough content at the start. Well, maybe there's more now. Yeah, see how she feels now. And uh, Harrison with the two dollar A's. If it wasn't asked before, how was Disneyland Yachts? Um, I feel like it wasn't designed for me, but that's okay. I was there for the kids. Oh, here it is. Oh, this was, this was fucking tucked away. Yeah. Compared to the whole fucking song and dance the pickaxe got. There we go. Oh, hello. Hi, no, no, let us in. <laughs> oh my god. Excellent. Sorry if I'm clicking too fast. I guess I'm just a speed reader. Oh, you're missing out on all the juicy lore. I'm reading it. It's no. just I worried nobody else is. <laughs> Stupendous. Yeah, font's probably too tiny. Listen closely. <sighs> A dark age indeed. <laughs> We've lost magic and friendship. Damn. This is like what happens when a society doesn't struggle uh, for resources to exist. <laughs> Make up all this bollocks about friendship. Oh, socialism. <laughs> I'm not sure what this community would be called or considered. What, does Scrooge McDuck own it all? I guess. Just he's, feudalism. He's the he's the nice billionaire mm. in Disney canon. <laughs> uh, Andrew with the five pound. It gets kind of creepy once you start fishing and cooking them or eating them raw for energy. All while Ariel from the Little Mermaid stares and smiles. Oh, I'll bet. I'm sure she yeah. understands. So there was something we needed in the meadow. I think it's the fishing rod. Goofy. Oh God. Oh yeah. And Goofy. How could we forget? Gorsh. Oh, well, there's the fishing rod. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, pick it up for realsies this time. Thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, God. We've He's summoned large. him. Oh, God. Little Maxi pad. Goofy, teach me to fish. Goofy, be my dad. He's uh, he's quite the outdoorsman in the Goofy yeah. canon. Uh, yeah. Do I want to give? Him? Okay, I guess I do. He's clumsy but active. Yeah. Teach me to fish, Goofy. Be my surrogate father <laughs> to replace your absent son, who's presumably estranged now. 
Uh, anyway, he went to college. They're cool. Yeah, probably doesn't call much. Uh, that's actually the plot of uh, the Christmas movie. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. This uh, guy, Alex, with the 25 runs. I can't wait for when Disney makes games for centennials. Oh, boy. Now, speaking of someone who's had to read a lot of Mickey Mouse books and uh, explored the canon of Mickey Mouse and his friends, Goofy, despite outward appearances, seems like the one of the whole group who has his life the most together, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a very strong single father. Yeah, and he's uh, a very good cook. He's the ultimate hairy dad. I, I read a short story in one of our books where he opens his own pie shop. Yeah. Granted, uh, Donald served in the in the Navy, so... Well, that's uh, no great indicator of stability. Well, I mean, that's probably why he's so pinched. And also the greatest magician in the uh, Final Fantasy canon. All right, let's go fishing. I'd wear that jacket you've got on. Well, this is the uh, fishing was always the instant gratification part of Stardew Valley. Yeah. Like if you couldn't be bothered planting stuff, you could always catch a couple of fish before the before the night falls. Okay, are we ready to see what kind of fishing mini game this game's got? Mm. Okay, nicely mm. integrated. Okay, so oh, one of those. Oh. 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 Press the button. And press it again. Oh. oh, God. Okay. Wow. Why was the fishing more dynamic than the loot boxes? Hmm. I've seen better fishing mini games. Sure. I just mean comparatively to the monetization. Wait. Oh, how, pol how impolite of me. It says follow Goofy to a fishing spot. I was supposed to go Damn. through a tutorial first. Wow. Now you're the estranged son. Oh, there he is. I just wanted to impress him. Christ, is he looking at a grave? What's going on? Well, now we know what happened to his kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk to me. Okay. Uh, well, I guess he's not patronizing us. No. That's... You know, I like you, Goofy. You're a mensch. Yeah, have you seen the Goofy movies? He's not a bad dad. Oh, same fish in both ponds. Wait a minute. Rainbow trout? That's not for ponds. No. Rainbow trout need to migrate, don't they? Yes, they're, they're in streams. I've been fly fishing. It was awful. <laughs> Well, don't you want to come and see my big catch, Dad? I mean, Goofy. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh. Oh, okay. Stop walking Where through is... roots. I can't do that. Yep. <laughs> Please accept this flower. Oh, look at him. See you later. Dang, he gets about. Oh, okay, we have to... He teaches us to fish, and then he's the one we sell the fish to. I think we've figured no. out who the top nook in this arrangement is. Oh. <laughs> That's the plot, all right. Good boy. Oh, this is where... Scrooge McDuck's whole scam comes into things. Okay. Duh. Be active in the community. Yes. Yes, so when the uh, inevitable newspaper appears after my killing spree, it will say, well, the neighbours all described him as a seemingly peaceful person who was active in the community. Yeah, he was so normal. <laughs> they always described as normal, them. <laughs> well, can I sell yeah. some of this shit, then? Oh, he's gone. You gotta talk to him first. Oh, gotta talk to him again. Damn, he just takes off, doesn't he? He's, you know, this is Goofy's world. We're all just living in it. Yeah, just gets around. You know he yucks. 
Cam with the five dollars, because I know you love recommends. Have you played Super Crazy Rhythm Castle, a shallow but fun popcorn game if you're nostalgic for the rhythm game? No, I have not. What the, what the hell was that noise Goofy just made? Sounded like he was uh, undergoing serious digestive discomfort. Blah, oh, blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah, uh, blah. You asked earlier, but this is getting paid. Abdel Corrales with the five R's. Question for Yahtzee. Does your color changes in your FR reviews represent anything or just aesthetic? As I say, it just marks uh, a shift of topic or, you know, to mark a sort of like paragraph change in the review. The specific color it changes to hasn't got a whole lot of thought behind it. But you know, people like to make up patterns in the clouds, whatever I can do to feed your paranoia. I'm catching more fish. This is my life now. Yep. Me and my dad. Goof. There's a suspicious amount of rainbow trout here. On second thoughts, I'm kind of bored of rainbow trout all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah, you don't even like fish. No, quite. Okay, Goofy, get over here. Hey yeah. Sell, sell everything. Uh, and why don't you buy some of this soil I found while I'm at it? What the hell? Just smear it on the fish, and then you can sell it at the farmer's market as authentically caught that day. Mm-hmm. Organic, fresh ground fish. All right, pleasure doing business. Oh, oh. Actually, while we're here, might as well tokenly see what he's selling. <laughs> oh, say, oh, a was gun. That, that was um, literally it. Arrows. Oh, oh that's weak. Bye then. Sunshiny right. days. I gotta go talk to David Tennant. Just because he's Scottish. <laughs> He was voiced by David Tennant in one like the most recent DuckTales. Was he? Oh. Yeah. Oh, amazing. not fucking squirrels. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm trying to talk to David Tennant. Um, game. Oh, I, need, I needed to physically push him away from the squirrel before I could talk to Scrooge McDuck. Uh, you could take him to the pond with that, yeah. Ah. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. How ah. Are you? First taste's free. We bought Goofy's stall. Now we're expected to pay up. Oh, you don't have enough coins. Can't, perhaps I should direct you to the premium store. Mm, I see what the scam is now. All right. Well, this now we get to the cozy part of cozy games. Grinding up Dosh. Well. The C in Cozy stands for capitalism. Oh, hey. Hmm. Does that give me money or just something I, that is represented that, by a sparkly image? Uh, that might give you money. Try it. Eat three fruit. No, no. Or just say harvest. What did I say? No, I've still got 567 dosh, so that didn't give me money. Hmm. Dream, dream. So, okay, so what do I do with Dreamlight is the question. Oh, I get the name now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Dreamlight Valley, huh? Oh. Yeah, I got Dreamlight up the bum, but... What do I Can't do spend with it. the Dreamlight? Is that that useless currency? That you, you're like, oh, I have so much of it, but I can't do anything with it. I don't know. Maybe this is the thing Merlin wants. Hmm. Well, hello. Yeah, hand all the tools. I'm an old hand. Ah, oh, the watering can never needs to be filled. What the hell kind of loser cozy game is this? <laughs> Ew, you've played a game where you have to fill your watering can. Yeah, I mean, there's a fountain right here. There wouldn't have been wouldn't have been much trouble. Oh, so far. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. You gotta gather dream light to remove the thorns from the castle. Oh, it's it's like a progress thing. Okay, alright. I'm with you, game. There you go. Well, I've got like 500. Is that enough? 
<laughs> is that enough to save the world? No. Evidently not. Oh, no, no. Don't even have the option to remove it right now. Oh. I guess we gotta keep grinding them coins up. Yeah, where's the Disney NFTs? They've got their own crypto. I mean, I'd plant gosh. crops if I thought it would have much return on investment. Oh, what do you want now, Mortimer? Are NFTs a thing anymore? Nah, no, we've moved on. Goofy, this is getting creepy. <laughs> yeah, I found some apples. Yeah, I feel like you found your podcast game. Uh, I don't know. Disney characters sort of creep me out. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. I've got, I've got I mean, a friend who is fiercely fearful of Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of preferred in Stardew Valley how your relationships with characters would be slightly dark. Like there'd be one dude who was like a recovering alcoholic and severely depressed. That oh, sounds and, like my uh, kind of game. You have to mm -hmm. bring him eggs because chickens cheer him up. What the hell? Yeah, it's a weird game. And you have, to have, the... you have to have another character deal with their abusive stalker ex. Jesus, what? No one told me this. Yeah, no. don't have to help Goofy with his abusive stalker ex, do you? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Where's that shovel of mine? Okay, let's let's plant some then. I'm game. Wait, what's the lore of the uh, Sebastian character in Stardew? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I ever pursued him much. All right. That's the first time I ever made note of that. I just kept just hearing Sebastian, the, Sebastian. Your, yeah. your name was in it, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Just like name yourself after a weird random word and that will never happen. Yeah, this is true. That's the experience I, I just Name myself Gobjob. Okay, I planted something. I mean, I guess I was expecting more. I was expecting <laughs> fireworks. Oh, no. He's a programmer goth? What? Yeah, that rings a bell. He's like okay. the, uh, the emo dude of the available bachelors. Huh. Who dresses in black and has a swooshy hairdo. Well... I dress in black. Okay, let's let's uh, let's fish because I think okay. fishing brings in the money better. I have a feeling this game is like programmed to make dudes just spawn behind you. Well, there's Merlin. Now. Hey, look at different. Oh, fish. that's Ooh. not a rainbow trout. A bass. <laughs> a fine day oh, you. go away. You're distracting me from my fishing. <laughs> ah. I'd feel cozier if you weren't here. Always Staring on at my me. shoulder. <laughs> Ooh, <what laughs> a dream. Like, where do we hide the Disney bodies? Uh, under Space Mountain. Right next to Walt. Is it to make you not feel alone in Disneyland? Maybe. You're never alone. Excuse me, just need some more cookies. It's actually 1984. Big Disney's watching. Uh, this doesn't look like a nice thing to have in Dreamlight Valley. No, no. Someone Pillar could of fall friendship. in. Mm. Is that just a random note on the ground? Uh, I guess. Uh, this guy needs to turn into a yellow thing before I can look at it. <laughs> That's the rule. I'm back. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, none of this is giving me any clues as to what to do about this large purple eyesore. Well, let's see uh, how much better financially I would be after selling my bream 
and my whatever the other thing was. Bass. Yeah. Yeah. Bass fishing was more peaceful. No fucking with rivers. There you go. Go Capitalism. <laughs> and all that. Uh, gorge. Okay. Oh, Bream sells for 280. Ooh. Girl. That, that's the money spinner. Yeah, well, there's your occupation there. Oh, and I got some raspberries from somewhere. <laughs> Just stealing should, random fruit. I should have been paying more attention to the dialogue. Okay, I think the blue... No, not there. The blue On the blue, thank you. I think the blue, like bubbly things, indicate better fish. Damn, it's a looter fisher. There you go. Oh, that'd be great. Yes! Nice. More bream, please. Oh, well, that's it. It's tapped. Um, You've overfished. Well, that's how it starts. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck will be proud. Well, that deck takes us up to our money goal. Let's oh, go oh. pay the grasping bastard. <laughs> See you later. Are those squirrels again? Yeah. They're, they're yeah. up to something. It's like that Rick and Morty yeah. episode. <laughs> uh, it's the sign outside his store. Okay. Scrooge McDuck. Okay, you're over there. There he is. <laughs> Greetings, neighbor. Okay. Goodbye okay, now. I was supposed to press the button on the uh -huh. sign that was right next to him rather than him. <laughs> I'm just amazed a squirrel didn't pop up to take all the money and run. Oh, look at that. Hey. Capitalism, ho. Is that the bank? This is the first thing we fixed the bank. Oh, this is the store. You were uh, half there, although it looks like a bank. It's got a mighty vault for us. Yeah, it's store, got a yeah. fucking vault. I've got a job for you. Now, bless me bagpipes. Using me instead of my, that's more of a South of England thing, game writers. But he's Scottish. I know. Oh. Would you like to say, bless my bagpipes? Yeah. Do they still say, like, go oh, blimey? That's a London oh, thing. Do you guys still say that? Well, blimey. Mm. Oh, blimey. It's more of a cockney sort of uh, oh. inflection. Yeah, I feel like I've heard you say like four crikey. Yeah. Well, well crikey is like Australian. Sort of. <laughs> She's just blending them all. Oh, well, capitalism in a nutshell, isn't it? We've spent money to earn the privilege of spending more money. Oh, love it. Hope you're not really hoping to get a pirate hat anytime this, soon and this is with the employee discount too look at that oh look at that oh 100 oh but there we go 160 for some overalls uh, yeah that's uh, that's more your speed isn't it peasant yeah. <laughs> and 210 for an arcade cabinet hmm yeah I wonder what's is, in this is looking very animal crossing right now Shiny days. You're inside, Goofy. <laughs> Did you hear that? He said, I just love sunshiny days. Yeah. <laughs> That's two oh, games yeah. now with odd dialogue at odd times. Oh, I just noticed the quest is to buy something from the store. Well, oh. who am I? <laughs> who am I to not, etc.? I feel like you were... to stand in the way of proper capitalism. I thought I feel like you were supposed to get the overalls, but yeah, this works. There, I bought something. Now like me, Dad. Hmm. <laughs> it's not gonna like you unless you turn into oh. a dollar bill. I guess we've got rival dads fighting for our attention at the moment. Ooh. But one's only I... ever loved you. How do I afford everything I want? This will sell like hotcakes. Okay, we're making friends with Scrooge McDuck at least. <laughs> I guess we know what he likes. Yeah, yeah. Hello. 
Oh god. <sighs> um I'm not gonna do that, but okay. Oh, they should have given you a big old spin sign. That's great. <laughs> yeah. The immersive Disneyland experience. Mm -hmm. Gotta work for the privilege. Upsell. Always upsell. <laughs> yeah. I swear these roots are growing back every time my back's turned. Oh, I'm sure they are, yeah. You will never be free. Oh, yeah, that was the classic Animal Crossing scam, wasn't it? Mm. Every day, more weeds. There is never no more weeds. All right. I don't have an ending. Like, do these games ever stop? Well, no. That's oh, no. not the point. Okay, what's on the agenda quest list? Gather dream light to open the dream castle. 2,000 of it, to be precise. Christ. Dear, oh dear. Complete Dreamlight duties. Oh, the things at the top. Yeah, okay. Uh, change uh, outfit. You got, uh, Guess I can on. do that. You got James Cameron saying, Hey, Frost, could you please ask Yahtzee which part of the UK Icky Thump with the black puddings from the goodies was meant to be parodying? That would be Yorkshire, north of England, the Yorkshire Lancashire era area. Well, yeah, yeah, the Yorkshire well, that's, where, that's where you get the ooh ecky thump put kettle on mother sort of <laughs> accent, and where people traditionally eat black puddings and wear flat caps, at least mm. in the like common stereotypes common in the goodies day. Are those supposed to be like the farmers? I had a friend who'd had a flat cap, and his British oh, friends always oh, called farmers him a farmer. talk in the sort of West Country accent. Which, oh, which you'll note is not dissimilar to the pirate accent. <laughs> they were pirates before they were farmers. Wow. Farmers. Okay, it just says change outfit. Do I have to change all my clothes? I thought you just got a strip in front of everyone. Oh. Hey. Those don't, look like, those don't look much like navy blue boot cut jeans to me, game. No. But what do I know? <laughs> they shrunk in the wash. Oh, you've got a shirt on. Uh, can I get rid of these hideous uh, shells? That I call shoes. Okay, I changed outfit. That counted as changing outfit. Oh, there's your foot stream. Plant five vegetables. Okay, well, we started on that. No, no, no. You Move, could be mouse. <laughs> I'm looking up your for lord. Treasure. Uh, come on. He's digging a ditch to bury him, and what's going on? Well, that seems to be his concern. <laughs> He's still sweating. <laughs> Maybe he was bitten. He's going to turn. Um, yeah, more carrots, why not? Alright. I am a good gardener. We got, uh, Matt Faulkner, ninety nine. Seen the dark-ass new Paul Ruddish Mickey cartoon? What? Have I not... Oh, does corn not count as a vegetable? Oh, for no. fuck's sake. It's meat. It's a plant. <laughs> what more do you want? Not sure what the technicality on corn is. Or, or does it have to fully grow? Well, I suppose it depends what form the corn takes in the end. If you're going to make yeah, it into yeah. flour, it's probably not a vegetable. But if you're going to eat it off the cob, then yes. Yeah. And uh, no, I've not seen the new Paul Ruddish Mickey cartoon thing. Oh. Bring a friend their favorite gift. But I have oh. no friends. 
No, but you know that Scrooge McDuck likes money. Well, it's just like, uh, like bang him a fiver. There's an easy one there. Yeah. Uh, Jim with the two dollars. Frost, do you have any holiday traditions? Holiday traditions, eh? I mean, sell five they... fruits. Again, yeah. can do. <laughs> Um, Thanksgiving, that's the only one that I do anything actually traditional. That's like the holly, the, the, the Super Bowl of cooking. Let's get it. All the other ones, experiment with food, do whatever you like, drink whatever you like. Uh, can I sell in this shop? Oh, but I can craft. Oh. Uh -huh. I can craft a stony bench or a sinister brick road. Oh. Okay. Choices matter. Okay, I guess we have to go to Goofy to sell things. Naturally. Oh, I have seen, uh, what is it? Yeah, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, the Three Musketeers. I love it. How's it going? But what is Goofy? If Pluto is a dog and Pluto is a uh, non sapient, what is Goofy? I don't know. I don't, I'm not very comfortable with it. Because he also, like, dates a cow and women. Like, if you had issues with Sonic, <laughs> I feel when they did, apply here, too. When did Goofy date a cow? He was always dating Clarabelle, the cow. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Does it now? A dog they, and a cow. They have a similar build. Yeah. Have a daily discussion. What, to just talk to them? Yeah. When did Goofy date a woman? In the old ones, original Goofy had a wife. Well, he had a son. We know that. Yeah. Like a, a human wife. And the joke was that the milkman, um, his wife was cheating on him with the milkman. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's some deep, goofy lore. Bye -bye now. Is this a daily discussion? By the parlance of this game? Oh. I suppose, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, yay? New roles, what? What? Companions? Oh, you can automate this, it, or what? This is, this is all so sudden, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Buy me a drink first. Uh, yeah, do some mining. Who are your companions? Well, who's doing this stuff? Uh, well, uh, that means I can now build a silly bedside table. Which is all I ever wanted. Hmm. Well, I ain't got time to go around trying to appease Disney characters with their favourite gifts. I've got shit to do in life. You're in the wrong game for this, partner. Anyway, it's three o'clock. I think I've uh, determined what I needed to determine about this game. Yeah, game of the year. It's Super. A, it's a game by Disney that wants your time and money. How does it hold up as the Stardew Valley killer? No, uh, it does not. Blunt. No, uh, flesh wound. Let's let's say that. <laughs> Should we play guess the game for a bit? People complain let's, if we don't. Let's give it a go. That's a tradition around here. Uh, but uh, but uh, oh, blimey, today's one's looking a bit wintry. Wintry and eyes. Just in time for the snow. I'm not getting. I do hope we get some this year. Oh, uh, not this week. All right. Oh. Any initial guesses? Ice Age, the meltdown. Ice Age, the meltdown. Ice Age 2, the meltdown, yeah. Well, uh, I didn't have any uh, alternative. Maybe Steep, the uh, Ubisoft snowboardy thing. That, that looks too old. I feel like Steep had better snow than that. I guess. 
Steve's uh, would probably be more HD. Uh, Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. Yeah. No. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> 93% with this kind of snow. I mean, oof. Looks like uh, maybe a PS1, Nintendo 64 sort of area. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, you think that? that old? The only other snow one is like SSX snowboard kids. Okay. Yeah, I think that was. I remember that being on the N sixty four. Yeah, no, that wasn't it. But it's oh. definitely is some kind of snowboarding game. I think. For sure, yeah. And Nathrick, welcome to the tip jar. Appreciate you. Oh, cheers. Is this SSX? I don't think it's SSX tricky. Um. SSX. Let's just say oh. it's SSX, no additional accoutrement. Well, it's the right oh. franchise, but it wasn't the first SSX. Oh, cool. When did they add that? The... Yeah, that's a fairly yeah. recent addition. That's cool. Uh, the only other one I remember is three and tricky. So uh, Yeah, there's apparently no there's cool. five to choose from. Three, tricky, on tour, or blur. Well, this, this that... is just going to be a guess from me, was... at least. That's 93%, probably. Three. I feel like that was the popular one. Okay. A second sequel getting 93%. You sure about that? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Go, go with the follow your gut. Follow your gut. Let's try tricky. All right. Okay, it wasn't that. Damn, was it actually three? Original release 2003. Does that help? Well, I mean, if I Googled it, but we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, it was SSX3. I knew it. There you go. That made Shouldn't me doubt have... myself. It was, a, it was a baller series when EA wasn't misbehaving. Shouldn't have doubted you. No. All right. Uh, oh, well, more Misty Mountains. indistinct skybox shit. Looks, looks a bit. Fairly round. Yeah, it looks a bit Breath of the Wildy, maybe. I'm not against it. Hmm. But does Breath of the Wild have that much water like that? Actually, the planet looks like there's a bit of rounding there. Like, so maybe... Hmm. Like, I'm thinking Civ. I wouldn't say I wouldn't have said Civ. Okay, I, th I think it's like either some sort of grand strategy or I think a god game. There's too many things it could be, so I'm going to skip the first one. <laughs> Whoa, okay. okay. Uh, minor gun, 93%? Looking like this? What the heck? See, my first thought was Sonic Frontiers, but I'm suddenly doubting that thought. I mean, I'll try. Good old Aeonic. Nope, it wasn't that. It's on the uh, Switch. On the Switch. Fairly recent. Looking like this. Ooh. Huh. That looks like that whip sword that lady in Soul Calibur has. Hmm, but that's not a Switch game. A Switch being Nintendo, um, um, I mean, unless it's what is she in a Smash game? <sighs> I don't think so. Hmm. You've got people saying Smash Ultimate. <laughs> well, I'll bow to their better judgment then. Yeah, Populous vote. Yep. That's what it was. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah the yeah, platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sonic uh, boot to the face there. Look at that. I was here this whole time. And we have a happy birthday balloon. Oh, look at that, Marty, HBD. Oh, why do I feel like I should know this? Ah, see, all the like the crusty red in the back makes me think hell pie, but there's no way. You know, the weird thing is, I had a very similar thought, but uh, I guess the game denies hell pie's existence, which is, is it one enough. word? Nope. No, it's I still think it's hell point. Nah. Uh, I feel okay. like I should know this font. I'm going to go out on, on a limb here. Nope, wasn't that. 
Okay, 88%. And uh, it's got Parody crisps. Foods. Yeah. Lanes. <laughs> As in lays. Well, this isn't helping. I don't know my my video game crisps as well as I should. No, if it were the crisps in Black Mesa, I'd probably recognize it, but... Uh... Not half one. Oh, Ooh. Hive Colonies Illusions. That's... Oh, God. What is this? Xbox One. <laughs> I should know this. This still so Hexagon. The Hexagons just make me think XCOM, but it's definitely not it. It's not Deus Ex Human Revolution. I thought it might have been for a second. Everybody's as lost as we are. <laughs> Doom Eternal, no. <laughs> no. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll skip one more. Well, that didn't help. Uh, well, we know, okay. we know it's a shooter. It's not, it's not ukulele. <laughs> it's a shooter... No way, that's Doom. What? Wait a minute. Wait, what's that on the what's that little yellow thing on the screen in picture four? Right there that's on that's, the tree. I presume that's the crosshair. Huh. Shooter. It's got Michael saying Hive is Starfield. That's that yeah, that doesn't look Bethesda to me. No, no. Starfield. Nor would it be called a shooter. <sighs> Skip one more. 2020. 2020. Release. Two years ago. We have a glowing hammer. Why does that look familiar to me? I know. It looks so familiar. It's, it's deep rock vibes, but not. Definitely not. Oh, God. <laughs> you still got. Uh, you've got Doom? A lot of people saying Doom. I don't know. That's not Proteus. Doom Eternal? Oh. What? It was Doom Eternal. What? They're being very vague with this stuff. That really must, have, that must have been like a, a huge Easter egg or something. The happy birthday balloon. Hmm. Wacky. Yeah. Yeah. The last one would have made <laughs> <Okay>. it obvious. <laughs> Who he? Okay. One more. And I've got to go write up my mini reviews. Same. Uh, something well, the game, football adjacent right maybe? the game crashed as they were screenshotting well I uh, don't know I'm lost I mean, I assume it's like an old school, maybe football game, like um. You've got Garg saying, "Is this winning post? Can it be?" <laughs> That's so out there. Winning post. Yeah. I mean, what? I don't have, I don't what have is a, that? There's like a hundred million winning post games, whatever it is, and it ain't that. It's a horse racing game. This is something that has a goal. Yeah, 83%. That's such an odd-looking field, though. Yeah. Oh, God, is it a rugby game? No, that's not how rugby's played. That's not a rugby goal. A rugby no. goal looks so it's like more a football in goal. spirit to, like, a American football goal. Yeah. <sighs> Gridiron, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, I'm not against that being a soccer net. I just think where it's placed and all that's kinda odd. I know, it's it's weird. Hang on, I'll skip another one. Ah. Now that is Wait. a dog show obstacle for Or off for your horses. <laughs> or for horses. Which means it could be winning post. Well, we already guessed winning post and it was Red Cross, so we know it's not a winning post. Uh, yeah, no no franchise, you're right, you're right. And it's on the DS, so I'm going to say Nintendogs. Hey! Oh, there you go. The inference. See, so, yeah, that's definitely one of the things they have on dog obstacle courses at my dog shows. Yeah. I watched one of those when I was in the hospital. It was nice to see my, uh, was it 
my blood pressure lowering as I was watching the dogs. Oh, yeah. it's wearing a Mario hat, which it presumably <laughs> hates. <laughs> You've never seen Nintendo dogs, Nick. That's so good. That that'll de-stress you. Yes. Who needs cozy Disney games when you've got a little dog you could stroke? Yes. All right. Well, thanks for watching Yahtzee tries, everyone. Uh, we'll be having we'll have an edited compilation video uh, of the highlights of this stream and of the, our last week's stream that we did on Lethal Company as well. And that I believe is going out on Sunday now because Saturdays are now Adventure is Nigh days. So look forward Ooh. to that this weekend. Uh, if you want to see this week's zero, uh, I knew I'd do that at some point. This week's new <laughs> fully ramblematic uh, on the subject of American Arcadia and Persona Five Tactica. That's out on YouTube uh, to watch at your leisure. Ain't no staggered releases for premium subscribers anymore. Uh, I'll be back next Wednesday with my review of Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora, and I'll have a semi ramblematic next week as well. What else Ooh. we got? Plug stuff, Frost. Plug your stuff. Plug stuff. Uh, my cold take's still sitting there for you guys. Uh, go watch it before it gets stale. Should be a new one coming out this Monday for you. A very interesting topic, which you guys could probably hear some uh, in the Firelink. I almost called it the wrong name. The Firelink podcast. That should be going on in 6 p.m. That's uh, within the hour. There you go. And then as oh. far as videos are going to go, we do have the backdrop from Darren. We've got uh, Jay's design delve. We've got new bite size. That's uh, sort of like a re re upping of three or more that we used to have. Yeah. Uh, streams is going to be a little wonky as we're getting into the holidays, but that's the stuff to watch for now. I think that's everything. Thank you all for coming. All right. Yeah. And enjoy every other bit of Second Wind content. There's a lot of it every day. And remember to support us on Patreon. If you like what we do and want to do your bit, for as little as a dollar a month, you can make a difference. You can be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change in my pocket. All right. Uh, see you all next time, then. Bye. Bye.